Hello everyone, this is Pranus Vikyan. I am from Assam. I am a spiritual teacher, preacher, speaker and philosopher and propagator of Zero Theory. I have written one book named Sujo Nikhilotar Boiplobi Khiddhanta. The book is mainly an Assamese language and very soon it will be published on English language also. So today I am thinking about how to talk to you about the a very random topic like about our environment about this season and about my life so let's get into this this is the season of bihu so bihu generally bihu is considered as the cultural festival of assam and entire india like in indian calendar we we coin Bihu or the uh, mid of April is considered as a new year and hence along with this subcontinent Assam is also celebrating Bihu. We celebrate Bihu as five, uh, seven days and in these seven days there are many categories of Bihu and uh, what we do basically that we offer gratitude our parents elders our nature and our livestock which is which has been always helping us to make us fed or make us stay in this in this environment very peacefully without much hostility or without much hasten so considering with this we celebrate bihu and uh, in the bihu what we do generally we offer our greetings to arch our elder and and along with that we offer our parents or our elders a gamusa gamusa is a kind of cloth which is being woven by our um, our local handlooms and we give that piece of cloth to our elders and elders also give the younger younger one to that gamusa so it is a traditional exchange and along with that we uh, go home to home any number of householder to perform our bihu dance bihu dance is a kind of dance which is basically related to our harvesting or or our crop field so along with that we have many kinds of bihu songs so we perform our own kind of bihu songs in Assamese language and we perform our bihu dances and there are many ki kinds of uh, like instrument along with this view so it's it's a whole like uh, like a package so we do all the things and there are some sequence of bihu like uh, one day we celebrate uh, as guru bihu and in this bihu what we do basically we we bat our cows and animals to the rivers and ponds and 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 go offer them many kinds of things uh, like we pray our uh, to our god to make them them a healthy and prosperous life because they are giving many more things to us so we also pray for them to uh, for their uh, long life so Bihu is celebrated in the mid of like winter and summer so winter and in the mid, mid of winter and summer there is two two months basically in like uh, first is Fagun then Sot then in the Bohak the new year starts so in the Fagun month what uh, basically 
has done like wind and breezes are blown and for that uh, many many flowers are grown in that season and because for the wind it helps to you know fly and bring the the pollen to to the to their their fertility and because for that after four or five months we have our own kinds of we have our many kinds of fruits and basically in assam we have the mango tree and it helps this wind helps this fagun month actually help to uh, to to fertility fertility and and have grown the mango fruit and after that uh, there is a month it is called sot in the sot month uh, the the sun brightness of sun is very high so in this way we celebrate our bihu and yeah for bihu i'm coming to our own land own home so in this place i'm very happy to stay here because there is so so much spaces here in comparison to my birth place because it, it, in jagir road basically the you know space is very congested very 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 small so i generally prefer the lots of spaces for which i just roam around here and there and think over many things and do many things so thank you very much it was the one kind of my thought provoking and sharing my as a kind of daily routine thank you